Hello, hello, everybody. My name is April Nicole, and welcome to Sister Girl Readings, everybody. Okay, so we're going to go into Aries. Aries, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we're going to jump right on in. We're not going to waste any time. But for a couple, I am doing some announcements. My first announcement is that I am doing personals. Um, I'm doing a three-month report coming into 2020. And I'm doing a six month report. The third the three month report is thirty three dollars and thirty three cents. The six month report is sixty six dollars and sixty six cents. Uh, I'm also doing Sagittarius, um, thirty three thirty minutes for thirty three dollars and an hour for sixty six dollars and sixty six cents for the first week of Sag. So if you are a Sagittarius and you wanna you might want to get this reading because if you buy it now you can always save it for later. Because the sale won't necessarily be for the whole month of Sagittarius. It's only for until, um, I believe, the 27th. Because I think that's when I wrote the date down on my book. So try to get the reading, you know, in. Because I don't want you to miss the sale. And you be like, oh, shit. I have a lot of cheap readings. A lot of cheap things. I got a one card for eight eighty eight, And um, I do do discounts. Uh, case in point, if you never had a reading from me and you buy one, you get a question free of my choosing but it's still a question and it gives you a lot of insight and more for your book so um yes feel free to book a session with me um invest in yourself get a reading before the year is um the year starts know what you're gonna get yourself into so you don't want to just walk into your whole existence and be like what the fuck you know so like know what you're getting yourself into aries okay all right let's go into your reading honey buddy the first card I get out is Temperance Reverse. Ooh, shit, it's going crazy left. Ooh, okay, so your life has become unmanageable. Somebody is mentally in their head about a lot of shit that's going on. Temperance is like nothing is balanced. Nothing is flowing. Everything is like unrest, turmoil, upset. Um, temperance is just like someone is in a hospital, maybe. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um... But I get that someone as has a lot going on. Their emotional imbalances have spilled over into their physical imbalances. Could be gaining weight, not eating correctly, could be sick. Um, someone is emotionally or mentally just done. Like they need to sit down and take a break. They need to take sit down somewhere and sit their ass in a chair. What is the temperance in the fourth floor? Someone is very mentally like, I don't want to say crazy, but just like their mind needs to take a, a, a minute to reflect and chill and chill. Okay, so what is the four swords in the temperance card? Okay. So look, I'm thinking about a cancer. Um, but someone is thinking about a relationship in which uh, someone is giving and taking. Um, maybe they felt like someone was cheating and they had to make a decision. Or this person was causing a lot of situations where their head was spinning and thus the temperance reversed. Um, someone could, again, someone could be, again, worried about a cancer or about the imbalance of the relationship, how they gave and take, or how the relationship is in giving and taking. Um, someone feels like they're going in the wrong direction or they're giving their energy to the wrong person or they don't want to go in this direction. Okay? What is the chariot reverse for, um, Aries? Like, you don't want to give to a situation no more. What is the chariot? Oh. The empress. Okay, could be done with a Libra or a Taurus. I definitely feel like um, someone's car could be fucked up or someone could be paying for a car. Um, the car is a limit. The car don't fucking work. The car is full of shit. Like this car, if you're paying money, shelling out money for a new car, make sure you check that motherfucker and you look and make sure that car ain't no damn lemon. And ain't nothing wrong with it. That motherfucker ain't no put. <laughs> you driving a car and it's good. And as soon as you buy that motherfucker, it's fall apart. <laughs> it's like it's like a, a bad cartoon or some shit. And it just makes you so fucking angry to where you're physically sick. Like this motherfucker here. And it's like a final sale kind of shit. No. Okay. Um, you could be going with your mama. And your mama's fucking annoying you. And you just like this bitch get on my. I'm not trying to call her my mama bitch. But you know. You think it's back in your head like this woman get on my damn. I'm so fucking annoyed with this woman. She could be a Sagittarius or a Gemini, and you just feel like if she don't shut the fuck up, <laughs> somebody mama is really getting on your nerves. Or this could be you. You could be going with your wife, and um, the situation is just very imbalancing, and you need a break from all of it. Um, but I do get that um, you're done giving to someone. 
and it's made you emotionally imbalanced. And now you just are tired. You're in your head stressing. What is this? The chariot and the empress. Um, Tinosaurus, you're not okay. So this is also could be about patronization. Uh, maybe you don't want to give to anyone anymore. Um, you could feel like you're stepping back from someone. Um, because the page of pentacles is, um, Ten of Swords is about not forgiving someone. You're just done with them. It's over. And the page of pentacles can be about a job. It could be about, maybe you stop, you, pay, you stop paying someone, um, to do a job. Maybe you're taking a break. Um, you could be taking a break from someone. Uh, someone is definitely in their head or they need a break. Ten of Swords, I do feel like you'll come back again. The Ten of Swords is about rising again. Um, again, I feel like you're giving the wrong shit to the wrong person. It's the wrong energy. Um, or maybe someone's making a choice about who to give to and it ain't you. Or you feel some type of way about it because Chariot Reverse is like throwing you off guard. I know I'm about to be big. You're not. Um, the temperance card, again, a, a lot of unrest, a lot of drama. Um, you could be obese. Maybe, um, you've been bad a lot of food and your ass been sitting up there eating bonbons looking like an empress and your ass get big and now you're sick again. Maybe you'll never go back to that. Um, but you're not buying that. You're not patronizing that no more. But I do get that, um, you feel like you've been given up to the wrong people and now you're done patronizing something you are taking a break what is the ten of swords and the page of pentacles for aries four of one a four of wands okay you can stop being you are done giving to a, a relationship you are done you are done with this person it could be a, a taurus a virgo woman or it could be a cancer virgo woman or man or uh i say virgo it could be cancer though I get Virgo when I see the Empress. I don't know why, but um, what is the um, Chariot Reverse? You like hell no. Okay, Seven of Wands. You're guarded. You are guarded. Um, whoever this person is, you just like, eh, you know, you are thinking about giving to someone in a whole different way and seeing if it's even worth it. What is the um, what is the outcome of all this for Aries? Okay, so. <coughs> you could be done with someone, excuse me, because they they, they um juggled you. You they juggled you. They um made you feel as if you were uh, an option, like you weren't the main person. You just someone don't keep their someone is not um, being honest. Someone has their emotions. Someone has a lot of things that are completely falling out of their hands, and they're not talking about it. This can also be someone juggling with their sexuality. Someone could be gay. The Knight of Cups is hiding something. He could be in a closet. He could be juggling his sexuality. Or her. What is the Knight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles? Ooh, that motherfucker flew, isn't it? King of Cups could be the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Someone does not know. Yeah, someone does not know. Now, the World card can be someone coming around. Maybe they thought that they figured this out. And they didn't. And the hermit is, people have been telling you that maybe you were gay and you didn't know you were gay. Or maybe you just laughed it off and said whatever. Maybe you care about people think. That's why you hide your, your shit. You could be juggling men and women. If I get to the emperor, uh, Aries plays a big part in this. Um, maybe you could be going back to an emperor or an Aries. Um, the hermit card is about a person who they spend a lot of time on social media. You could be actually looking at this person. What is the hermit and the emperor? Okay, let's see. Three of wands. Yeah, you feel like you got to win this person's approval. Or you feel like they got to win yours. What is the three of wands and the emperor? You feel very strongly about someone, but you're not making a move towards them. Yeah, the page of swords and the tower. You're spying on them, but um, I don't get that it's going to be any forward moving right now. It may have been just been a tower moment. Um, what's the tower card for Aries? Okay. 
um, definitely Ten of Cups, old baggage. Someone, there's a lot of disappointments and heartbreaks in this relationship with this person. And you now see it for what it really is, and you're just like done with the situation. Someone could have been your perfect 10, and you mostly you are just bottomed out. The Seven of Swords, you call someone red handed. You saw someone doing something deceptive, and you are just like out. Um, you would like to apologize, though. Seven of Swords is about apologies. Maybe you want to apologize for a misunderstanding or a reason why a relationship broke up. Um, maybe that's why you're trying to win their approval. You could be spying on them after a breakup. I do get Three of Cups. Um, you could have been in a third-party relationship, or someone could have been in a third-party relationship. What is the Seven of Swords and Three of Cups? Aries. Eight of Pentacles, somebody that you work with. Or you could be in a relationship for eight years, or you were working on something. What is the Eight of Pentacles in regards to the Seven of Swords and Three of Cups? Okay, somebody went to fly out now. The Judgment, Eight of Swords, and Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you've made a decision that you may forgive the situation, but you don't trust. You don't even know if the situation will even go anywhere. Um, you don't trust people that you invest in, Aries. You're just like, no, nah, I made a decision that I don't trust neither one of you motherfuckers. Eight of Swords, situation not getting any better. Your trust is not opening up. You don't feel like you can be open with this person. Um, I get that you put your all into it, but you just don't feel like it's going to work out, and you're just done with it, really, to be honest with you. Um, you are very short-tempered anyway, so it's not any mistake. It's not even, like, any, like, surprise that you cut someone off. Aries will cut somebody off in a fucking minute. You are a minute. What is my love cards for Aries at the end of the month? November. Okay. We got past life connections. So you've been with someone or they have a very deep connection with you that extends past this lifetime. You would like to go slow. You don't really know. It's fate, though. There will be a passion rekindled for you, Aries. So you guys will definitely get into a relationship where you guys will start to rekindle what was left off. It's faded. I mean, this person, they have some type of impact or you have some type of impact in their lives. And um, you just would like to take it intensely slow because you have a lot of questions. You don't trust this person and they don't trust you. And there's been some type of tower moment in your relationship. All right. So, Aries, let me know how that resonates for you. Because, like, Aries, like, it, it, it definitely says something is going to be rekindled. Um, let's see, what is fate and rekindle for Aries? Oh, that card flew over. Ten of Cups, yeah, um, some type of heartbreak will be readdressed. You guys are going to argue. Um, may not, I mean, you guys are definitely going to have an argument. What's the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Cups? You guys are going to argue. Um, someone does not forgive. Queen of Swords ain't forgiving shit. She remembers everything you've done to her. Um, someone is dissatisfied with the way things have went. And, um, I do get here in the Knight of Rods, someone is going to move on, or someone is immature. So, the Knight of Rods can be uh, Sag, Scorpio, could be Aries, Leo. Um, someone is dissatisfied. They're a nomad. They just kind of, if, if, if they, they feel like if the situation is not going to work out to their favor, they just kind of go on about their way, they disappear. But you're going to, um, someone has to win your heart over Aries. So, or maybe you're trying to win someone's approval. Maybe you haven't listened. Maybe you have a spiritual guy you don't listen to. The Hermit is, the, is saying that you don't listen to people. Like, you kind of do what the fuck you want to do. Um, three of Wands, you need more information. Like, you're lacking information. And you don't really listen to people that give you information. So you kind of feel like you are lost. You're always lost because you're not really paying attention. I feel like you're missing the message here. What is the message that Aries is missing? Aries is talking too fucking much. I got Aries' girlfriend right now talk me to death. Seven of Swords and Three of Cups. Someone could be apologizing for a third-party situation. They know they did wrong. Or, uh, what's Seven of Swords? Yeah, Seven of Wands. They, someone wants counseling. Someone would like to in, uh, invest in a counselor. Or someone could be confused back into a corner about a job. Uh, I get the Empress. That could be someone's mama. Yeah, someone wants to offer you a cup. Someone is in love with you. Um, here you are. Very attractive. Someone finds you uh, irresistible. Aries. I mean, here you are, the empress. Someone is offering you a cup. Someone is excited. 
someone is de definitely like geeky about being with you. Um, definitely a cancer person. You just don't know if that if you want to go to therapy with that person. You don't know if that's going to work out. So you're just kind of apprehensive. I mean, see where it goes. I mean, all they can do is just fuck up and then you cut them. All right, Aries. Okay, thank you so much for joining my reading. And if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below. And if this reading did not resonate, feel free to book a personal session. I am doing sessions all weekend. And I have deals. All right. Excuse me. All right, guys. And I will see you guys later. Bye.